Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. This video is going to be an eye-opener for you because in this video I'm going to talk about is wearing masks safe for all of us? Because since the starting of the pandemic 2020, we all start wearing masks, right? And all the time we're wearing masks and we're always talking about following the COVID norms and protocols. But really, is, isn't there any side effect of wearing masks for the long duration of time? Because before COVID, uh, very few people wear masks during uh, specifically for specific job uh, requirements they wear masks for pollution people wear masks in other places but now 24 7 when you go outside we need to wear masks so is it safe for our body now before talking about that in details i must say i'm not promoting not wearing masks of course we need to wear masks if you go outside of the house and in a gathering and different places because that's a very low price instrument that can protect you from catching a virus inside your body particularly a highly infectious virus like covid uh, like sars-cov-2 but now the thing is this mask and wearing mask for a long duration time comes with a cost and i'm not talking about just from my point of view i'm talking about this by doing a proper research and i'm going to share my screen with you regarding one interesting paper review that i found and uh, you can also check the research paper where they have conducted a study over 60 different research articles research papers in the past regarding wearing masks for a longer duration of time if you wear it for a short duration of time and if you throw it out as a use and throw mask that's fine but now what we are doing is that we are wearing the mask and we are not throwing it we are not uh, changing the mask and using the same mask for a long time is having a potential health hazard it is a potential health hazard and there are so much different obstructions and diseases that we can have respiratory illness that we can have by wearing it for a long time so let's look at it all right so as i mentioned i'm going to share this paper with you that is ncbi.nlm.nih.gov you can see this paper id pmc this id is there you can see this paper is all about uh, talking about the idea that before sars-cov-2 infection uh, there was hardly anyone talking about wearing masks but now we are talking about and found out 65 publications and in this 65 publications 44 mostly experimental studies conducted and this paper is of uh, uh, you can see April 20, 2021 with the IDs and everything listed here. And what they studied is really, really an eye-opener. See, they objectified the evaluation of, uh, you know, respiratory physiological conditions. And they found out that this wearing mask for a constant long duration has physiological effects as well as psychological effects. And what they found out is that the significant correlation of oxygen drop so drop in the total oxygen amount that our body gets that is a significant drop listed uh, co-occurrence of respiratory impairment increases and oxygen drop is 67 percent wearing 95 uh, n95 mask causes co2 to rise because the thing is that when we uh, use usually involved in the respiration we take oxygen and release carbon dioxide i believe all of us know that so uh, the body should get more oxygen and release all the carbon dioxide here wearing n95 mask can cause nine like carbon dioxide rise to approximately 80 per 2 percent n95 mask also drops the oxygen intake by 72 percent n95 mask cause headache near about 60 percent of the cases and respiratory impairment and temperature rise caused into 88 percent of the cases and also temperature rise and moisture increment is kind of 100 percent of the cases because all the time the mask is being covering your nostrils and that is a big problem and and these are physiological problems remember the rise in carbon dioxide level is not good for you lowering down of oxygen level is not good for you and if you are a smoker in that case lowering of oxygen raising carbon dioxide can actually uh, push your lung to do harder work and in that case uh, for your lungs to work harder your heart start to pump more and more blood to your lungs so that the lungs start working faster so your heartbeat also increases and now in a in, in the winter time it's still fine but in the summer time in india and the countries which are hot where if your heart is working really fast it's pumping blood really fast for your uh, lung to work faster to work uh, to manage uh, the lowering of oxygen and increment of carbon dioxide your body is under extra pressure and that is not good for our body so these are all the the hazards that we talked about okay the details are there if you want to study the details you can check that i'll also put the link in the description so this is something that is not good this is something that uh, that that can be hazardous that that is acting as a potential hazards because you can see the numbers are bigger it's like uh, compared to the non-masked person and a masked person the numbers are really really big so this is happening 
and what we want to do and what will be the the future prospects because you know as i mentioned earlier the pandemic is going to eventually end and we cannot wear mask all the time and one more thing is uh, the presence of bacteria which is not talked here because if we are using this mask so you can see clearly that i have listed all the different possibilities you know what happens if you wear this mask for a long duration of time so the question is the big question is what should we do right at this present moment should we wear mask of course we'll wear mask there are different kinds of masks that are available n95 is there which is superior and then there are surgical masks which are very less pricey but working really effectively and there are also cloth masks and all these things so again the thing is if you're wearing mask try to limit uh, the wearing of the mask for for a time frame if you go for work outside in different places of course you cannot limit yourself but if you are there try to stay indoors so that you don't need to wear mask all the time and also uh, if you're wearing the mask do not wear it for a long stretch of the same mask use it and like use it and throw it out if it's a cloth mask then obviously uh, every single day if you go home then you, like like drop it into some like you clean it in detergents or soap or water or detol and all these things and then put it back next day uh, after re uh, you know after cleaning it without cleaning it if you wear it then it will be a problem and one more thing is that throughout your day span if you are wearing it for 8 hours 10 hours 12 hours 14 hours make sure that there are some portions of the time frame when you drop it and take a normal you know respiration and try to if, if you have multiple masks that's good that you can change it some, sometimes that's something that you can do but actually uh, there are rules that are being pressed and if you don't wear masks people are you know scolding you and the police is there the they are going to take like they're fine uh, they're taking fines and all these things but they don't understand what's going go, what's going on with our body so basically you cannot uh, like talk to them regarding the research paper and all this because they don't understand anything so it's up to you that what you're going to do but this is really important that this uh, wearing mask for a continuous uh, time frame can have some adverse effect in your body okay. so one more th thing that i want to talk about here which is not mentioned in this paper right now is regarding the presence of bacteria and other pathogens in the mask because what we are doing we are covering our face with the mask right when you cover the face with the mask you are respirating with it and our respiratory tract here uh, they have cilia to prevent any other foreign particles uh, and, and bacteria and other like large particles, chunk of particles to go inside. Generally, the respiratory tract is sterile. They don't have any bacteria in it. But the thing is, when things come out in the nostril, the, the outside and surrounding area, they are filled with bacteria. A streptococcus, staphylococcus and all this kind of bacteria that are present in the air that is there, that is deposited. And that those bacteria will be deposited in the mask, in the front side, the covered side, face side of your mask. And then what happens if you, if you open the mask and touch it, your hand is filled with this so basically people can constantly touch the mask to adjust it that's one more thing that the mask is not working efficiently to prevent the bacteria or virus entering in your body but on the other hand the virus the bacteria and virus all these things are stuck to the face side of the mask so you are constantly inhaling it so if you are wearing this mask same mask for six hours seven, seven hours eight hours basically you're inhaling more bacteria more virus inside so that is going to create some other issues other respiratory illness other kind of issues of your body so which is also something to be concerned about okay so that's all about this video if you're watching this video and from this field if you're a doctor or a medical professional uh, please uh, put your input into the video say like what do you think about it in the comment section i wanted to know uh, like whether this is like wh what kind of uh, answer we are we're going to get or what kind of uh, things that we can do to prevent it uh, to have harm to cause harm in our body okay so that's it for uh, today if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye